Bwana Isa Sifiwe, I'm Pamela Kindi, I'm born again, Christ is going on to my soul. I'm welcoming you today to our Inspiration Wednesday. We are going to be tackling on God's view on humility. Before that, let us pray. Mighty Lord, this wonderful afternoon, we are grateful for your goodness, for your mercies. As your word comes with the open hands of our hearts, you alone. We thank you, my Father, because your word shall identify us, shall counsel us, shall direct us. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray and believe. Amen. So today, we are going to tackle on how God views on humility. God's view on humility is on the aspect of us being submissive unto his will. Before that, we are going to read on the word of God. And we are going to read in the book of Philippians chapter 2 verse 1 to 14. And it says, Is there any encouragement from belonging to Christ? Any comfort from his love? Any fellowship together in the spirit? Are your hearts tender and sympathetic? Then make me truly happy by agreeing or heartedly with each other, loving one another, and working together with one, with one heart and purpose. Don't be selfish. Don't live to make a good impression on others. Be humble, thinking of others as better than yourself. Don't think only about your own affairs, but be interested in others too and what they are doing. Your attitude should be the same that Christ Jesus had. Though he was conned, he did not demand and cling to his right as conned. He made himself nothing. He took the humble position of a slave and he appeared in human form. And in human form, he obediently abound himself even further by dying a criminal death on a cross. Vanessa Sifiwe. So, we have seen that as, as Jesus Christ abound himself on the cross, for dying with the, for dying for the on behalf of the church. That is how us as Christians we should be humble. Jesus is the ultimate example of humility. He humbled himself, he forsook reputation and honor for him to be obedient to the will of God, for him to be obedient to the word of God. For us as Christians, we should follow that example of being submissive to the will of God. And that is humility. Jesus Christ forsook his own reputation and honor for us as the church to have the righteousness of God. That is the humility. It is forsaking our own will and then accepting the will of God. Letting go of the will of man and accepting the will of God. So, we have seen that the, that is the first aspect of humility. And then the second part of it is being obedient to the word of God. Let us read in the book of Isaiah chapter 66, 66 verse 1 to 2. This is what the Lord says, Heaven is my throne and the earth is my foot. So, could you ever build me a temple as God as that? Could you build a dwelling place for me? My hands have made both heaven and earth, and they are mine. I, the Lord, have spoken, and bless those who have humble and contrite heart, who tremble at my word. As as Christians, for us to, to show humility, we have to be obedient to the word of God. We have to take what the word of God tells us to take. We have to go on according to what the word of God tells us to to go. So, embracing the word of God, that is the aspect of showing humility. And then there's another aspect of us walking in humility. It is accepting a man being having a repentant heart. That is shown in the book of Psalm, Psalm 51 verse 17. And it says, it says, the sacrifices we want is a broken spirit, a broken and repentant heart. Oh God, you never, you not despise. That is one has another aspect of us being humble when you are, when you have a repentant heart. When I was if you were. another aspect of us being humble, it is casting our cares to the Lord. When you are 
humble it is the time that you allow God to take care of your situation when you have a need it is the time that you allow God to take care of what, of that need because in do tell us that in the book of Matthew let us read that in the book of Matthew Matthew chapter chapter 6 verse 31 to that too it says so do not worry about having enough food or on drink or clothing why be like the pagans who are so deeply concerned about these things your heavenly father already knows all your needs and he will give you all you need for from day to day if you live for him and make the kingdom of god your primary concern as we show our humility when you allow god to meet our needs when you allow god to 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 meet our what we require, we need him to, re, to, 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 to do for us. One is as if you. And then another aspect of us being humble is by considering others better, more significant, more than ourselves. When Jesus Christ forsook his own reputation and the honor, it was for the sake of the church. And that is the same case with us as Christians. We shouldn't be in that aspect of us humbling ourselves, considering other Christians better than ourselves. So that is the aspect of how God views humility. One we have seen it is accepting the will of God. The other one is being obedient to the word of God. Another one is having a repentant heart. Another one is casting our cares to the Lord. And finally, it is us by considering other people more important than ourselves. And what is this humility that you are talking about? Humility, it is the nature that you have as a Christian. You have the nature of humility. Humility is not an emotion, nor is it a, a feeling. It does not come and go. It is, it, is, it is the nature that you have. When you read the book of Colossians, chapter... The reverse twelve of Colossians chapter three verse twelve of it says Since God chose you to be the only people whom he loves, you must clothe yourself with tender attend, mercy, kindness, humility, gentleness and patience. For us to Walk in humility. We have to, to take care of the condition of our heart. And how do we take care of the condition of our heart? It is by reading the word of God. The Bible tells us that in David said that he find the word of God in his heart that he may not sin again with the God. So for us to count the condition of our heart, for us to be able to walk in humility, we have to find the word of God in our heart. And then another thing that you have to do is meditate and read the word of God daily. For us not to walk in pride, you have to read the word of God. The word of God is the one that renews our mind and it takes away the pride that comes out of our heart and it releases the humility of God in our heart. And then all those things shows us, shows us that humility, it is an essential thing in our work in in salvation our our particular relationship with god when you're working in humility before the eyes of god shows us that you have to work in humility when in our daily work with the men so with that we have understood that being humble it is not a matter of you being silent it is our nature for us as Christians to walk in humility. Finally, I will say this, that humility is not humiliation. God does not release sicknesses nor poverty to us for us to be humble. That is the weapon of the enemy. The enemy uses all those, the poverty, the sicknesses to oppress us, but God uses his want to humble our lives. So another thing I will say is this, that the way up is the way down. If us as Christians we want to be 
great. We have to be slaves first. We have to be servant first. The, to the top of the lander, it all starts at the bottom of it. So for us as Christians to walk in humility, we have to, to be servant first before we be leaders. We have to be slaves first before we be masters. That is all that we end today. And may the Lord bless us. Let us bow our hands as we pray. Mighty Father, we are grateful for your goodness. Thank you for the word that you have spoken to us this day. We bless your name, we exalt you, and we magnify your name. Your word tells me, Lord, that your word is the lamp upon our feet and the light upon our path. May that be so in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray and believe. Amen. Thank you. Please like, share, comment, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Kirinyaga University Christian Union, for more inspirational videos every Wednesday. Bye!